Hello, and thanks for joining me for a story today. This is a story called Hunker Down. One very bad day, on the outskirts of the enchanted village of Nod, a dragon was spotted flying overhead in the distance. No one had seen a dragon near the village of Nod in a hundred years, but everyone knew a dragon was very bad news. And when a dragon was around, there was only one thing to do, and that was to hunker down. Hunker down, asked Emily, who was eight. What does that mean? It means we stay inside with our family, said Emily's moms, until the dragon goes away. Well, how long will that take? Emily wanted to know. It will be a little while, they said, and it may seem even longer than that. But just remember, hunker down isn't forever. Hunker down is only for a while. At first, Emily didn't mind hunker down. She could play in her room with her brother Cody, and if Cody was getting on her nerves, she could use her crystal ball to talk to her friends, who, as it turns out, also didn't get out a lot. There was her friend Rapunzel, who lived in a tall tower out in the countryside. There was her friend Max, who was always getting sent to his room for doing one wild thing or another. And there was her friend Harry, who lived in a cupboard under the stairs at his aunt's house. They were always happy to talk, and Emily would chat with them through her crystal ball for hours and hours. If her friends weren't there, she'd use the crystal ball to watch cartoons. Hunker down was pretty okay. But one day, the crystal ball rolled off of Emily's bed and fell onto the floor and broke. Crash! Oh no, said Emily. Can we take it to get fixed? No, said her mom. We have to hunker down. Can we go to the mall and buy a new one? No, said her other mom. We have to hunker down. That stupid dragon. All of a sudden, hunker down was a lot less fun. But Emily made the best of it. She drew pictures. She practiced her electric guitar. She built a really tall tower out of Legos in her bedroom. Then Cody knocked it over. Mom, Emily yelled, Cody is driving me crazy. Mom, Cody yelled, Cody is driving me crazy. Quit copying me, said Emily. Quit copying me, said Cody. And you can guess how it went from there. Kids, said their moms, you can fight bite or spite, we are going to hunker down just the same. Remember, hunker down isn't forever, hunker down is only for a while. Emily avoided Cody and sulked in her room. She read her books, she read all her books, she read them again. She was bored, 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 bored. Mom, she complained, I'm so bored. Can I please go to the mall? I think I'm going to die of bored. And she flopped over dramatically to make her point. You can be bored, snored, or annoyed, said her mom, but we're going to hunker down just the same. What are you doing? asked Emily. I'm making a pie. Would you like to help? So Emily learned to make a pie. She got to crinkle the edges. She spilled sugar everywhere, like everywhere. Her mom laughed, but the pie was good. The next day, Emily said, what are you doing, to her other mom. I'm putting this cactus in a pot, she said. Would you like to help? So Emily learned to pot a cactus, and she spilled dirt everywhere, like everywhere. Her mom laughed, but the cactus liked its new home, and it was okay. How long is stupid hunker down, asked Emily. Won't be forever, her mom said. Hunker down is only for a while. Some days Emily was bored. Some days she was sad. Some days she was mad. It was hunker down all the same. Sad, glad, or mad, said her mom. We're just going to hunker down. Some days she and her brother fought, and then other days they made up. Emily painted, planted, baked, read, guitared, snoozed, shouted, and cried. She missed her school. She missed her church. She missed her friends. Hunker down won't last forever, said her moms. Hunker down is only for a while. And then, one day, it was over. No one had seen that dragon flying overhead for many weeks. Cautiously, the people came out of their homes. They went back to their schools and churches and shopping malls. Emily played soccer with her friends all afternoon, and then they went exploring in the enchanted forest. Hunker down was over. We're very proud of you, Emily, said her mom, so we know that wasn't easy. 
Well, said Emily, sometimes it was hard, and sometimes it was boring, but sometimes it was okay or even fun. I just kept reminding myself, hunker down isn't forever, hunker down is only for a while. That's right, said her moms, and the lesson is, but Emily interrupted them. Can I go crystal ball chat with my friend Harry? Did I tell you? He's not living in the cupboard anymore. Something about an owl and a letter. I have to hear about this one. And that is the story of Hunker Down. Thank you for sharing it with me. I hope you have a wonderful day.